Where's the McDonald's? You know, it's like, and this is like, you know, this is what I'm saying. If the if the parents had exposed their, their their children to certain kinds of music, certain kinds of books, certain kinds of things at an early age, then you kind of, you know, because I'm from a small town, and there are a lot of us now that are from small towns. A lot of my friends are from small towns, and we just look up and we say, we got to get out of here, and we go to a place like New York because there's so many people from all over the world that think differently, and in the small town, they all. The world is like this, you know, just, just, and, and, you know, those NFL Europe kids, the first time they come here, you know, I want to go home. You know, the first time I came to Europe, I was like, wow. You know, I walk up to, to the hotel guy and say, okay, I need five words in the language, and I write it down, and I, and then there's the other Americans who are just like, you know, this isn't what I'm used to. This isn't the world that I know. So let's just take me back to the world I know because I'm too uncomfortable here. You know, I don't have the curiosity to extend myself and try to become a bigger person. I want to stay small, just like I've always been. And that's an extension of uh, the narrow point of view that I was talking about. And you can find it anywhere in the world. I mean, you know, you can, history was my major in college. And when you study history, I mean, all the wars in Europe were started from that. The very narrow point of view. It's just that the experience that Europe has had after a thousand years of wars is that now there's a larger point of view, thank God. In America, maybe we'll get there one day. It might take a thousand years, though. open societies, open markets, uh, and this is very important. And in most of the countries we find these open societies, open markets, and this makes it easy to globalize and speak with everybody and buy from everybody and sell to everybody. And this is my credo. Get rid of all the stuff that is of absolutely no consequence in our lives and concentrate on the stuff that's pertinent. <laughs> 